Hey everyone, it's Enjoy English School. I'm Chris Gorski. I'm Anthony. And today we have our origins article called "The Rise of Netflix." 嗯，今天我们介绍的主题呢，各位一定非常非常熟悉 Netflix。好，他们也有个中文名叫网飞，但是我还是习惯叫它 Netflix。好，在上面可以看到非常非常多的影集，很酷，对不对？很多时候你在这个脸书上面啦，或是一些 social media 上面，也有机会看到 Netflix Net Netflix 它所打的广告。好，非常非常非常厉害的一个这个频道。When when I kept hearing about Wang Fei in the news, I thought it was about the singer,、uh, and I was very excited that Wang Fei was coming to Taiwan, <laughs> not Netflix. Ah, so the teacher put the word Wang Fei to make it Wang Fei, the singer. Oh, oh, Wang Fei is coming to Taiwan. I'm so happy. Yeah, yeah. Then I realized it's not Netflix coming to Taiwan. Hey, Anthony. Hey, Chris. Hey, Anthony. Hey, All right, so we are looking at page sixteen and seventeen in our magazine, and today, of course, is December sixth. Let's look at paragraph one. Netflix has come a long way from its days as a DVD rental company. Okay, 来我们看第一段的第一句话，它里面提到说 Netflix has come a long way. 当你听到说 come Come a long way, or has come a long way. 就是一路走来呢，其实很做了很多的这个进步跟改变。Yeah, improve a lot, right?、Mm. Yeah, that's the exact word I wanted to use. 没错，很多时候，有些甚至上你可以讲的说 ，We've come a long way. 就是一路走来，其实不太容易。你也可以用表达这样的概念，就是一路走来很辛苦，也做了很多的改变，到今天这样的地步，一路走来真的很不容易啊。有这样的语气存在，所以他讲说，你看王菲一路走来到现在 ，from its days。As a DVD rental company, from 最开始的时候，我们之前好像有提过，呃，什么什么 humble beginnings, right? 最开始的时候很，很好像大家都没有听过这个名字，到现在大家都知道网飞。好，在这里的话，一路走来很不容易，它就可以表达这样的概念。原本呢是 a DVD rental company， 原本只是一个租 DVD 的这种公司，到现在变成一个这么大的频道。Our next sentence says it now produces original movies. And TV shows that have become big hits across the globe. Be careful with the word "produce." This is a verb. If you hear the word "produce," it's a an an uncountable noun. It means fruits and vegetables. 嗯，没错，在这里的话特别注意一下。那这边的话说 ，it now produces. 如果你听到是 produce。Produce 重音放在后面 ，do 这个时候呢，还是代表是制作、制造。那如果你听到是 produce， or some people say produce， 我听到比较多是 produce。老师在讲的是农产品的意思，所以在听的时候特别小心说，说哦，它的重音摆在哪里，才知道是什么，是是到底是哪一个 produce。重音在后面，它是动词，制造。如果是 produce， 好，它是这个重音在前面，它是名词，指的是农产品。所以这句话讲说 ，It now produces original movies。它现在开始制作它自己的原创的电影 ，and TV shows， 还有电视剧 ，that have become big hits across the globe。Across the globe that means all around the world。好，是全世界呢都变得这。大家都知道王菲都非常非常有名。That have become big hits， 指的是他所制作的原创电影跟电视剧呢，在世界各地呢都掀起了一股热潮，大家都非常喜欢。Our next sentence says even the latest remake of Hana Yori Dango, also known as Meteor Garden in 2018. Was produced by Netflix. Okay, 他就要举个例子啦。Even the latest remake of Hana Yori Dango， 这个东西，这个东西翻翻译成这个日文的话，他们常常是翻译成花样男子。好，就是其实是在讲这个我们之前熟悉的这个流星花园。他这边讲说 ，also known as Meteor Garden。Garden in 2018， 在二零一八年的时候，他们重新翻拍了《流星花园》这个系列作品。然后呢，怎么样呢 ？Was produced by Netflix。那他们这个作品呢，也是由网飞所制作的。The next sentence says the streaming service has almost 150 million subscribers worldwide as of 2019. When we say "as of," we feel it will continue to grow. It means right now we have 
but in the future there will be more. 嗯，没错。所以在这里的话，他老师提到这个 as of。Twenty nineteen. 好，这边指的意思是到二零一九年为止，目前已经有了多少呢？他讲说 ，the streaming service 这样的网络上的串流服务呢 ，has almost one hundred fifty million 一亿五千万个这个订阅者，而且怎么样啊？是在全世界各地，到二零一九年的时候，已经有一一亿五千万的订阅者。感觉到你用 as of twenty nineteen 的时候，会觉得后面还有继续增长的趋势。And we have worldwide, which also means across the globe that we saw in two sentences ago.、Mm. So across the globe, around the globe, or worldwide. 嗯，没错。所以要提到世界各地、全球的话，你可以使用这边的 worldwide， 或者是使用刚刚两句话之前提到 across the across the globe。好，在这里的话都可以使用表达全球的概念。顺便提一下 ，worldwide worldwide 这个字的话，本身可以使用形容词或者是副词的用法。所以说，今天在这边的话，你说到 has almost uh one hundred fifty million subscribers worldwide， 这边是副词，它也可以放放在这个名词前面当形容词使用。Let's continue with our next sentence with rising. 取一再加 i n g with rising subscription fees. More money has been made available for Netflix originals like Stranger Things, Agrituko, Chef's Table, and much more. Okay, so they just mentioned that there are so many, so many subscribers, right? Okay, there are so many subscribers with rising subscription fees. In this, this subscription fee is increasing as the population grows. Okay, as the population grows, how much money has been made available? They have more money available. They have more money available. Uh, for Netflix originals like Stranger Things, A Gretzical, Chef's Table, and much more, they have more money to spend on creating some classic original shows. It includes like Stranger Things, The Gretzical Universe, and The Gretzical Universe. This Gretzical is an aggressive Gretzical. Gretzical means the character in the show. It becomes the Gretzical. Chef's Table, the host's table, and these classic original shows. And、uh, when we see has been made, that's our present perfect passive. 不要加一个 v i n g， 就让它变成我们的 present perfect continuous tense。小心这边。嗯，对啊，特别注意的这个地方，老师那边特别提醒了哈。Has been made， 因为这个地方是被动语态，所以说当你用 has。Been, 不要因为看到这个 been， 我想到哦，我要用这个 v n g 吗？不，这个地方要用 v p p 来表达被动的概念。所以说，更多的钱可以拿来被怎么样？所以这边的被动感是从 has been made， 是被动语态加上了完成式所出现的结果。All right, let's take a short break. All right, let's、uh, take a look at paragraph two in our story called "The Rise of Netflix." 嗯，我们继续来介绍一下这第二段这个部分。好，这个网飞的崛起。Netflix was founded in 1997 by software engineers Reed Hastings and Mark Rudolph. 好，所以在第一句话里头呢，我们看到这里面，他告诉你说，到底是谁创造的 Netflix？ 他讲说 ，Netflix was founded in 1997， 一九九七年的时候被创立出来 ，by software engineers， 啊，是由两个软体工程师所创立出来的，谁呢 ？Reed Hastings and Mark Rudolph， 这两位 software engineers 所创造出来的网飞。Now with software， remember we can't say Softwares because it's uncountable. Write a U C N above software. 嗯，没错，在这个 software 上面不妨写一个 U C N uncountable noun， 指的是不可数名词，对不对？大家在使用的时候，我们会讲 software， 没有加 s， 不可以加 s。所以在这边使用的时候，如果你真的要讲这个软体要变可数的话，你 have to say a piece of software 才可以。Our next sentence says, "At the time, it was a competitor, competitor of the once popular and now out of business movie and video game rental chain Blockbuster." And I miss them a little. 
<laughs> a little, but I I don't like them. Ah, 事实上很妙的事情是，老师刚刚我们在私底下有聊过百事达这个公司呢。因为小时候老师的话很期待去百事达，虽然老师不喜欢百事达这家公司，但是呢，小的时候去那个地方去租电影啦，去租电玩，那个经验本身倒是很好的。所以老师还讲说 ，I miss them a little. 好，有点想念他们是这样来的。I miss the experience. Yeah, the experience a little. 如果是更准确。讲的话是想念那个去百事达挑片、去百事达挑电玩的那种感觉、那种经验，但可以不见得一定要是百事达 ，OK？ 是别的这个也可以嘛，对不对？啊、uh, oh, ，但那个去去挑片啊、去挑电玩的这个经验本身是很特别，因为你们现在已经都很多的这个小朋友，他们本身都已经没有这样的经验了，所以说有机会的话，你可以去感受一下。我们台湾好像还有一些这种类似这样的片子，你可以走进去感受一下。所以看这边呢，他这句话讲说 ，At the time it was a competitor of the Once popular and now out of business movie and video game rental chain blockbuster. So he, at that time, he said, in the time, he himself is Baishida's competitor. Then this Baishida himself, he said, once popular, 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 Video game rental chain. This means that once popular, 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 once Uh, we say something without evidence,、hmm. and this forty dollars. It's not NT. That's U.S. dollars. One thousand two hundred dollars. Blockbuster was greedy. Okay, so in this part, you see this sentence. They have a very famous story. They say, "Who is the hero of the movie?" Well, it's because of this guy Reed Hastings. He said, "What happened?" He said, "Claims that." The teacher here mentions claims. The meaning is that he claims that he has no evidence. There is no evidence that he has no evidence. There is no evidence that he has no evidence. There is no evidence that he has no evidence. There is no evidence that he has no evidence. There is no evidence that he has no evidence. There is no evidence that he has no evidence. There is no evidence that he has no evidence. There is no evidence that he has no evidence. There is no evidence that he has no evidence. There is no evidence that he has no evidence. There is no evidence that he has no evidence. That Hastings created the company after being charged a forty dollars late fee by Blockbuster. So he, because he had a late fee, he was charged forty dollars. I remember seeing forty dollars, about forty dollars, forty dollars. He called me and told me that he had forty dollars every month. I said, "No, forty dollars every month. I thought it was forty dollars every month. Wow, forty dollars every month is expensive. So he was very upset. So the teacher said that Blockbuster was greedy. He was very upset. Blockbuster was greedy. He was very upset. When Netflix began their streaming service in 2007, things really started picking up or becoming busy. 嗯，没错，所以在这边他就继续说了 ，When Netflix began their streaming service in 2007， 在二零零七年网飞开始经营他们的这个线上串流服务的时候呢，哎。Things really started picking up. 这个地方老师特别去去说明 ，picking up 就是开始有有了起色，好，开始事事业呢开始蒸蒸日日上的感觉。所以 ，things really started picking up， 又开始了，生意就越来越好了。The Netflix original House of Cards, which was first released in 2013, got them eight Emmy nominations and put them on everyone's radar. Okay, so 接下来他要告诉你他这个丰功伟业了。The Netflix original House of Cards， 他们推出的原创电影《纸牌屋》，一个就是影集哦。好 ，which was first released in 2013， 在二零一三年时候推出之后呢，荣获了 got them eight Emmy nominations， 荣获了艾美奖的这个八项提名 ，and put them on everyone's radar。所以到后来大家都知道哦。原来网飞有推出了这一套，哈，这个纸牌屋很受欢迎，很红。大家也慢慢知道网飞这个名字。这个地方他说 ，put them on everyone's radar. That means everyone is aware of the name Netflix. Yeah, to notice them.、Uh, I I wrote that with this. When you put somebody, excuse me, put something on someone's radar. Don't forget, we don't say radars. Everyone is paying attention, but radar is U C N, uncountable. 加一个 U C N 在 radar 那边。嗯，没错，这个 radar 的话，它本身是在这边是不可数的用法嘛，对不对？所以在这里的话，我们不会加上 s。所以 put some something on everyone's radar， 就是把它放在每个人雷达上，所以大家都注意到它，大家都知道它，因为这样的关系使它这个声名大噪。
Good. And when we nominate someone, we pick them for an award or a prize. 嗯啊，另外这个字老师特别提到 nomination 这个字呢，它的动词是 nominate， 就是把后面的 i o n 去掉，变成一个 e， 好，就变成 nominate 这个动词。那 What does that mean? Nominate 这个地方老师就提到说，啊，就是要去把这个奖要。颁给某个人，就像他说，哎，我先提名你，看再考虑说，在这么多的提名人当中呢，我要把奖颁给谁？这个 nominate 就是提名的意思。Okay, let's take a look at paragraph three. Our sentence says Netflix has had a huge cultural influence. Okay, 在第三段这个第一句话想说 Netflix has had a huge cultural influence. 好，在这边要特别注意一下 has had 这个这个地方他们使用的是现在完成时，代表是从他一九九七年以来一路到现在，他一直累积着、持续着、有着。非常大的文化影响。Uh, to influence means you change someone's thinking, and yes, it really did because、uh, Netflix asked Blockbuster to buy them, and Blockbuster said, "No, thank you. We don't want you." And then Netflix put Blockbuster out of business. 哎，没错，在这里的话，老师也告诉我们一个非常有趣的一个小故事哈。当初那个 Netflix 本来是要问说，哎 ，Blockbuster， 哎，百事达，你要不要把我们买下来啊？我们可以一起合作啊，对不对？后来百事达说不要，然后到最后呢，想说好，因为其实到后面这个 Netflix 它本身走的是那种网网络的这种串流服务是。世界的趋势，结果都还没有搭上这个趋势的列车，到后来百事达说不要，我要用传统的这种模式，我才不要跟你合作。最后呢 ，Netflix 居然就让百事达就失业了，让他整个退出了整个市场，让他没有生意可以做。你可以说 put something out of business. Great. Let's look at our next sentence. It has become a part of pop culture and has completely changed how people watch television. Okay, 那到底这个 cultural influence 在哪里呢 ？It has become a part of pop culture. 它已经变成流行文化的一部分。It has completely changed how people watch television. 也完完全全的改变了人们看电视的方式。Our next sentence says, with more and more people choosing streaming over cable TV, how will traditional cable services respond? Okay, so yeah, 最后这句话呢，他讲说 ，with more and more people choosing streaming over cable TV， 在这个地方特别要注意一下 ，choose A over B， 意思就是选了 A 而不选 B。所以在这里的话，大部分人越来越多的人呢，开始选择在网络上做线上串流、线上看电影，而不选择使用这个传统的有线电视的情况之下。How will traditional cable services respond? 那到底这个传统的有线电电视的这些业者要如何应应这样的危机跟变局呢？好，这个东西的话，大家都很想继续看下去。My sister pays one hundred forty American dollars every month for cable TV and the internet. That's a crazy price. Why would you want cable when you can have Netflix? 嗯，没错，老师刚刚提到说，他他的妹妹啊，他一一一个月哦，就花一百四十块美金 ，one hundred forty， right？ one hundred forty for the internet and cable TV。好，就就包含有线电视跟他这个网家里的网络服务。那如果说今天有网费的话，干嘛要花这个钱呢、yeah, ？Absolutely. Well, let's take a quick look at our vocabulary words that we should practice before we go. Okay, our first review word today is across the globe or around the globe. 哎，第一个我们要要复习的单词呢，就是 across the globe, around the globe， 意思就是指全球、全世界。Our second word, worldwide, worldwide. Worldwide 这个字呢，它也是指全世界的意思。它可以当形容词，可以当这个副词，都可以。所以你看，发现到又讲全世界这个概念的时候，你可以用不同的方式去表达。Number three, a chain store. A chain store. A chain store. 这边是指的是连锁店。我们为什么提到 chain 呢？是因为 Blockbuster 百事达本身就是个连锁出租店。Number four, put something on somebody's radar. 
，嗯 ，put something on somebody's radar， 意思就是指说让大家注意到某个事物，然后再把这个东西放在大家雷达上面，大家就看得到，注意得到嘛。And lastly, number five, choose A over B. If you choose A over B, you want A. You don't want B. So, when you say choose A over B, it means I want the first thing, not the second thing. All right. Well, we are out of time at Enjoy English School, but we will see you next time. I'm Chris Gorski. I'm Anthony. We'll see you then. Bye bye. <laughs>《王菲的崛起》The rise of Netflix. Netflix has come a long way from its days as a DVD rental company. It now produces original movies and TV shows that have become big hits across the globe. Even the latest remake of Hana Yori Dango, also known as Meteor Garden, in 2018, was produced by Netflix. The streaming service has almost 150 million subscribers worldwide as of 2019. With rising subscription fees, more money has been made available for Netflix originals like Stranger Things, Agretsuko, Chef's Table, and much more. Netflix was founded in 1997 by software engineers Reed Hastings and Mark Rudolph. At the time. It was a competitor of the once popular and now out of business movie and video game rental chain Blockbuster. A famous story claims that Hastings created the company after being charged a forty-dollar late fee by Blockbuster. When Netflix began their streaming service in 2007, things really started picking up. The Netflix original House of Cards. Which was first released in 2013, got them eight Emmy nominations and put them on everyone's radar. Netflix has had a huge cultural influence. It has become a part of pop culture and has completely changed how people watch television. With more and more people choosing streaming over cable TV, how will traditional cable services respond?